Andrea My name Miguel. is Andrea, Andrea uh, Miguel. So I'm a filmmaker so and member of the Independent Collective Media. It's a collective of activist media, which is active in the streets of Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, and parts of Brazil. How long have you been involved with this event? <laughs> The event started in 2013 and it's in its seventh edition. It starts originally when there is an occupation of the municipal city hall of Rio de Janeiro. People occupied the city hall and a relationship was formed with the homeless community of the area because they started to participate in the occupation. And from this relationship of mutual love between the members of the occupy the city hall and the homeless people of the area. And that's when this process started. The amount of homeless people in Brazil with the change in government and the ascension of the right-wing government, it grew in an absurd way, in a way that the activists and people who live in better conditions have to find ways to integrate themselves and look for something to do for these people who are on the streets. Okay, uh, could you talk about what happened in 2013 a little bit? In 2013, these people did the city hall occupation. They were profoundly persecuted by the state. They were sued, arrested, and this didn't get any better, it just got worse. And now with Bolsonaro in power, the process of persecution against activists and independent media in this country has only grown. So under in 2013, uh, you had a leftist, typically leftist president. PT party was in power with Rousseff. It was a left-wing government that had a lot of concessions with the right. One of these concessions was the persecution against autonomous activists. This was proven to be wrong politics. Because of this, the right ended up ascending even more. The event is at Christmas because originally Christmas, Jesus effectively wasn't a religious leader. He was much more a revolutionary leader. And Christmas lost its essence. It became a party of capital. That's why it's called more love, less capital. Uh, activist media grew a lot in Brazil from 2013. However, the political persecution and the lack of support on the side of the organizations made so that this kind of activism decreased. But it's a very strong movement in Brazil, in all of Brazil and Latin America. The event happens once a year. People are here interacting, socializing. But this relationship is something that happens all year long. People are here, they're with us, and we're with them. Talk about the uh, anti-terrorism law that came into effect in 2013 and how that affected your ability to organize if you're still able to organize in the face of legislation. Yeah, in fact, this law, the law of international security, comes before this period, 2013. With the big events of the Olympics and the World Cup, they had to increase the power of this law. And we suffered these consequences on our skins. We were sued, there were plenty of people who were arrested. Elisa spent six months in hiding. And what we want is the radicalization of democracy. We want a real democracy, not a fascistic democracy as we have in Brazil. Uh, would you say that the left has become fractured and unable to organize considering what happened since 2013 or is it more unified since then? It's definitely fractured and it's disorganized, especially in the institutionalized left. But I believe that the true left is not the left that's inside the palaces. And yes, the people who are here on the streets making the real socialization happen. Uh, under Bolsonaro, what are the next steps that you think are for the left? Do you think that there's an ability for them to organize with the, the anti-establishment and establishment left? I believe so. I think it's possible. But you have to have the consciousness that it's not through the formal democracy. And yes, through the street democracy, the democracy of the streets, that will have the strength to take down Bolsonaro. If the left really tries to reaffirm its alliances with the base, with the people, with the population, the poorest of the population, that's the way the left can organize itself to take down Bolsonaro. Do you have any faith in the electoral process of getting Bolsonaro out of power and that's making it better for the left? Or do you see the same problems under a leftist, a leftist uh, government? Yeah, exactly. Many times a left that arrives in power just to have class conciliation, it's a false left. How would this event help organize people outside of the establishment power of the left in order to 
further the politics of anti-authoritarianism. This is not a process that's going to happen overnight. It's going to happen slowly. It's through educational transformation, popular education, popular empowerment. It's from there that, yes, we can one day get to power, and from there to change the legitimacy of power. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you.